tropical storm Allison has developed over the western Gulf of Mexico. This statement applies to the residents of Brazoria, Chambers, Galveston, Harris, Liberty and Matagorda counties. A tropical storm warning is in effect from Sargent, Texas to Morgan City, Louisiana. A flash flood watch is in effect for areas generally east of the Brazos River. A high wind warning is in effect for areas east of a Livingston to Conroe line. Galveston County, voluntary evacuation on the west end of Galveston Island. Bolivar Ferry is closed. Brazoria County, voluntary evacuation for Surfside. Remaining counties should monitor the situation until Tropical Storm Allison is well inland. At 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Tropical Storm Allison was making landfall on Galveston Island. Allison is moving north at 12 miles per hour. This motion is expected to continue for the next 24 hours. On this track, Allison will cross Galveston County and East Harris County by 9 p.m. then move over Montgomery, San Jacinto and Polk counties. Maximum sustained winds are near 60 miles per hour with higher gusts. This makes Allison a strong tropical storm. Tides are currently running 3.0 to 4.5 feet. Maximum tidal surge of 4.0 to 5.0 feet is forecast. At Galveston Pleasure Pier, the peak tide was 5.0 feet, at the Galveston Channel 5.0 feet, in Port Bolivar 4.5 feet, in Jamaica Beach 3.5 feet, in Clear Lake 3.5 feet, in Morgan's Point 4.0 feet, at the San Luis Pass 3.0 feet, and at the Freeport 2.5 feet. At these forecast levels, parts of Highway 87 on the Bolivar Peninsula will become impassable, parts of Tontville and Seabrook will become impassable. Also, some roads on the west end of Galveston Island and Surfside will flood. Rainbows will push inland tonight across portions of Brazoria, Chambers, Galveston, Harris and Liberty counties. Rainfall in these counties will average between 2 and 3 inches with isolated totals of 5 inches of rain possible by Wednesday morning. A flash flood watch is in effect for the eastern half of southeast Texas tonight. Ifocker rains develop around the circulation center overnight. Heavier rainfall totals of 7 to 9 inches will be possible. Tropical storm force winds are already affecting coastal portions of Bezoria, Chambers and Galveston counties. Expect winds of 50 to 60 miles per hour along into the east of the track. This pocket of high winds will affect Galveston Island and communities along Galveston Bay between 4 and 9 p.m. this evening. Tropical storm force wind speeds are forecast to decrease overnight as Allison moves inland. Tropical storm force winds will affect parts of Harris and Liberty counties around mid-evening, then decrease by midnight. As the center of Allison pushes inland tonight, high winds will also affect inland areas of southeast Texas generally along and east of a Livingston to Conroe line. The next hurricane local statement will be issued around 10 p.m. tonight. Tropical Storm Allison downgraded to Tropical Depression. Persistent moderate to heavy rain continues to north and west of Tropical Depression Center and continues to produce a threatening flash flood situation. This statement applies to the residents of Brazoria, Chambers, Galveston, Harris, Liberty and Matagorda counties. All former tropical storm watches and warnings have been cancelled. A flash flood watch is in effect through Wednesday night for areas of southeast Texas generally east of the Brazos River. Flash flood warnings are in effect until 7 a.m. for Montgomery, Walker, and Houston counties. All voluntary evacuations for Galveston and Brazoria counties have been canceled. However, travel is discouraged in area of excessive rainfall, mainly north of Highway 105 and west of Interiz at 45 as far north as Huntsville and northwest of highways 19 and 94 north of Huntsville. At 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time, the center of the tropical depression was located near latitude 30.2 north and longitude 95.3 west, 
or about 30 miles north of Houston. The tropical depression is drifting north at about 5 miles per hour. This general motion is expected to slow gradually with the center becoming less defined and stalling by late tonight roughly between Liberty and Livingston. Maximum sustained winds are 35 miles per hour, and these winds are concentrated well southeast of the depression center along the upper Texas coast between High Island and Sabine. Winds in this area are expected to continue to gradually diminish as the tropical depression continues to slowly move inland and weaken. Tides are currently running 3.0 to 3.5 feet at the northern end of Galveston and Trinity Bays. Elsewhere tides have generally fallen to 1 to 2 feet as winds have become offshore along the western upper coast and southwest from the San Luis Pass area to High Island. This has relaxed tides significantly in most areas. In Galveston Pleasure Pier and Galveston Channel, the peak tide was 2.0 feet. In Port Bolivar and Jamaica Beach 2.5 feet, in Clear Lake 3.0 feet, at Morgan's Point 3.5 feet, at San Luis Pass 1.0 feet, and at Freeport 1.5 feet. At these forecast levels, little or no flooding is expected along the west end of Galveston Island, the Bolivar Peninsula, or near the bayfront on Galveston Bay. A large area of heavy rain with embedded thunderstorms continues north of the Depression Center over Walker, Houston, Madison, Grimes and northwest Montgomery counties. Rainfall totals in these areas will likely total between 2 and 4 inches with isolated totals of 5 inches. Significant flash flooding may be a threat in Montgomery, Walker, and Houston counties through 7 a.m. Additionally, many streams and bays in the flash flood watch area may remain over bankful level early Wednesday morning. This will be the last hurricane local statement issued for this tropical system. See flash flood watches and warnings for the continued flooding threat posed by this storm.